He dropped a spring. It didn't bounce. It walked away like it had errands. It's the 1940s. World War II is wrapping up. Jazz is hot. And engineers are busy solving actual problems. Enter Richard James, a naval engineer trying to keep sensitive equipment steady on ships. His solution? Springs. Strong, stable, sciencey springs. One day in the lab, he accidentally knocks one off the table, but instead of falling, it steps off the desk, onto a book, onto the floor, like it's casually late for a meeting, and Richard just stares like, well, that wasn't in the manual. He goes home, tells his wife Betty, and she has a genius moment. That's not just a spring, that's a toy. Boom, they did design a prototype, name it Slinky, yes, from the dictionary, page 843, and in, in 1945, launch it in a department store. Richard does a live demo, drops it on a ramp. It walks, kids scream, parents throw cash. They sell 400 units in 90 minutes. That's faster than most YouTube shorts. And here's the twist. Slinky wasn't marketed as educational or techie or war surplus repurposing. It was just fun. A metal spring that did one thing, walked downstairs and nailed it. It became a global sensation. Went to space with NASA, got its own theme song, lived longer than fidget spinners, Tamagotchis, and moral integrity in Congress. So next time you see a spring falling with purpose, remember one man's engineering fail is another generation's toy shelf legend. Subscribe for more stories where gravity writes the plot.